Hey everybody, how's it going? I thought to show you this awesome tool. It's called MDP to create markdown presentation from terminal. And it's very fantastic, easy and handy. The, the code uh, footprint also is very small because it's written in C and it's very fast as well. I use it sometimes for giving presentation and I thought to share it with you. So MDP is already available on the OpenBSD port, so you can just install it with do as pkg at MDP in case you don't know. And if you want to create a presentation, simply just create a markdown file and then format that markdown file and open it with MDP. So let's go through it. So let's say I have a, this one and then I have a title for my presentation. So I will say my awesome presentation and then the author is of course is me the open BSD guy and then we have a date let's say 11 12 and so this is the let's say the very basic structure of it and you don't need even more than that and then the first let's say title of the first slide so let's say title of the first slide and then i start writing some stuff here let's say the subtitle of the first slide subtitle of the first slide and then here there is some text for this slide just to demonstrate how great MDP is in case that you don't know it's written in C programming language right so this is the first uh, draft let's say and now actually let's actually uh, open it so mdp open this file and let me maximize it so as you can see this is how it it shows up right so we have the title subtitle and then the text here and of course the presentation subject is here and then the author name right now let's actually make it some other uh, stuff to it so for example i will just let's say give it uh, i want to add a url here and then i say source so i copy let's say this one paste it so this would be adding a url exactly like markdown and Let's say I want to uh, stress on the C programming a lot, so I want to make it bold, so C programming language, so I make it bold. And let's say you don't know, I want to make it somewhat like an underscore, right? So for that one also I add the underscore to it. And then in case that we want to do, let's say, italic kind of thing, some text so that one you can actually mix the bold with the underscore so we can do something like this one and then save it and then let's demonstrate it one more time so as you can see this is already the color has changed so it's all also underscore and bold you can interpret it as italic and this is the underscore and this is the bold and as you can see for source we have something like this and then there is zero in case that you have more links so it will number and as you can see the full link is shown here pretty cool huh and let's add another source for example according to according to the CNN MDP is the most used markdown 
representation tool. So then we just add, let's say, a CNN link. Of course, CNN is not a very credible news outlet, but anyway, CNN.com. We save it and let's run it again. So as you can see, we now have source zero, source one, and both links are showing here. So what else we can do with it? We can actually write some even inline code, but let's first uh, break the, uh, go to the second slide. So in case you want to go to the second slide, just add some dash and then basically this is the second slide. And then you can say, for example, some more, some more awesome features of MDP, right? So let's say we want to show some quotes. And in this case, I'm going to just write some, let's say, C code here. And then let's say printf hello world, right? And then this will already be rendered actually. It doesn't highlight the syntax, but it shows it as a code block. So if you go to the second slide, as you can see, this is the already the code block of the C program. And in case that you are wondering how we can actually fix the alignment, let's say of here. So let's say I want to have the title of the second slide in the middle of the page, right? So for that one, I can do something like this and save it and a comma. And then as you can see, the title of the second slide is in the middle, right? So you can do the alignment or center, uh, center the uh, title like that. I am not sure whether it works with text, so let's see. Uh, I don't know. OpenBSC is the greatest OS available and that one yes yeah, so also it works with text that one i i haven't tried it because i all, all the time put it left uh, I, I do the alignment on the left side so it works as well and in case that you want to actually create a list so so for the list so this is the list and then similar to the markdown and let me actually fix this one okay so you can say the first uh, then second third and then here in case that you want to have inner or the sub list then basically you use the minus or dash and then say sub first and then sub second sub third etc right and if you want to have a quote so you can just say i don't know whatever my great code and then you can also have a sub code as well sub code and if i'm not mistaken you can even put like a sub sub code so let's try to render it see how does it work so the screen is too small all right if if you got that error by the way that the terminal height is too small you just need to adjust your terminal and then that will work so for example if i go full screen then it will work simply so as you can see this is how the list it looks like and then this is the quotation also quotes and what else we have here 
Um, I think that's pretty much all that you can do with this tool. Of course, you can use the markdown command to also convert this uh, presentation to the PDF, but that's entirely a separate discussion and is out of the scope of the MDP. This video is proudly produced and edited on OpenBSD fully.